Hey everybody, just back here with another video. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit about um, some recent uptick in crimes in the GTA region that Pierre Polyev is going to expose here. But before we get into that, I just want to let you know that it really, really, I really, really appreciate everyone who likes and subscribes uh, to the videos that I make. It's a big help. It really helps me grow the channel. If you're not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe and the like button. And uh, that really, really helps uh, grow this channel. And I very, very much appreciate that. Uh, not to mention any thoughts that you have, please let me know what you're thinking or any questions, any suggestions that you're you're wondering about just please let me know in the comment section i always enjoy uh, engaging with you guys that way as well um so pierre polyev says in the gta region of york shootings are up 92 percent and carjacks and carjackings are up 106 percent this year alone as violent reoffenders are let in and out of jail thanks to justin trudeau's catch and release laws so, so there's a little bit of a video here that we're going to take a look at and then we'll talk about that after like usual we are experiencing an increase in crimes involving firearms. In 2024, the region has seen a 92% increase in shootings, a total of 46 since January of this year. And we've also seen a 106% increase in carjackings, a total of 64 since January of this year. And equally troubling, since 2019, over a five-year period, we've seen a 400% increase in carjackings. Illegal handguns have become all too easy to access with limited consequences for criminals. And almost all of the guns being used in these crimes are illegal handguns, many of which are being smuggled across the border from the U.S. While we continue to see repeat offenders out on bail, reoffend, and commit violent crimes, York Regional Police will continue to do everything we can to hold those to account. We are experiencing an increase. I mean... What do you even say about that? I mean, I, I understand a lot of people are going to come in the comments and say things like, well, this is in Ontario. This is Doug Ford's. The thing is, and I'm pretty sure that when it comes to federal crimes, the government, ha the regional government has to go by federal laws. Now, if any of you know any, any more about that, I'm not well versed on you know the laws in Canada, but I do know that these crimes are federal crimes. Right. You can't you're shooting someone isn't isn't a, a slap on the wrist. Right. Like that's that's attempted murder. That's a federal charge. And under these federal courts, they're being very, very lenient. And Trudeau is the head of the federal government. And this isn't just happening in Ontario. I, I mean, I don't have other stats or other provinces, but I know that it's not exactly going too well out in the Maritimes either. And they're pretty liberal out there. It's not going well in B.C. where the NDP for now, at least, is in control of things. So it's not just the federal conservative, or sorry, the provincial conservative governments, it's the federal liberal government being propped up by the NDP that is allowing these things to happen, writing policies, passing policies that are just make it so easy for you to commit a crime, even a violent one, and basically get out in bail within the next week or two. When you should be locked up for a very long time to keep our streets safe. Lots of people are getting really upset, especially young women. I mean, we've all seen the the uptick in in you know uh, violent crime against women going up, especially in the past couple of years. Well, again, these these are dangerous people who are doing dangerous things, and the federal government is do doing nothing to protect uh, protect them. I thought Justin Trudeau was like a male feminist and he really cared about women. Well, apparently not, because they're scared, and he's not doing anything about it. So in twenty twenty four alone. 92% in increase of shootings and 106% increase in carjackings. Since 2019, so just before COVID, 400% carjacking increase, easy access to illegal guns, and repeat offenders. I mean, and, and this is the thing. And yet, if you're a civilian, a law-abiding ci uh, civilian, Trudeau doesn't want you to have guns. Which means that now the only people who have guns are cops and criminals. There's way more criminals than there are cops. We're outnumbered. Okay, I've never held a gun in my life. Um, I would like to actually learn how to shoot a gun. It seems like it would be a valuable thing to learn. But I was just always told growing up, oh, we don't need guns. And, oh, in America, they have guns, but they're crazy. And growing up, I realized that, no, it's actually us who's crazy. To not allow a civilian to protect themselves while these violent criminals are getting put in jail and released very quickly, it's insane. We need protection now. Right, if you look under the Stephen Harper years, crime was way down towards the end of his term. And ever since Trudeau's taken over, it's been way, way up. 
I actually think someone po I did show a video about this before. Yeah, so if you look right here, right, someone posted this in the comment section. So if you look at the violent crimes under Harper, look at it, look at the look at the drop here. And then ever since Trudeau took over, increase, increase, it major increase, slight increase, major increase, major increase. I mean, it's it's <laughs> It's insane, and yet you still have roughly 20% of people, at least in my opinion. The polls say a little bit more, but I think that his numbers are going to go down. But he's going to at least get 20%. How do 20% of Canadians, like, where are these people? Like, I want to talk to them. <laughs> like, how do they not see all these things that are happening? And then, yeah, I'm going to vote for Trudeau again because I don't like Pierre Polyev. It's like, listen, I, I don't know if I like Pierre Polyev either. I've never met him. And I, I am worried about some of his policies. I've gone into that many other times, but he certainly seems he would be a lot better than Justin Trudeau, at least in terms of crime, in terms of building houses, in terms of you know getting rid of these stupid taxes. Pierre Polyev seems way better. And there's no other good option. Are we going to vote for NDP? They're, they're, they're the ones propping up this government. You're going to vote for Maxim Bernier, who blocks half of his supporters, and he's clearly a big pussy. You're not going to vote for him either, I hope. But maybe you will, because I understand if you're a populist, right? Oops, sorry about that. And right, because I have a lot of populist views as well, but that's the wrong guy. <laughs> so the only option right now is Pierre Polyev. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section about what's going on in Ontario. I know a lot of uh, my followers live in Alberta, British Columbia, um, but I'm sure you've also heard about this. I'm sure there's, there's really bad things going on in your area too. Like I, I heard about the, the Calgary water main break. It's also happened here in Mississauga and Toronto, and it seems to be all happening in the same summer, which is also kind of weird. But anyway, let me know what you guys uh, think about um, all this information here. What do you think about the job that Trudeau has done controlling the crime? I always enjoy um, reading and responding to your comments as quickly as I can. Uh, thanks again so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.